I started another one of these projects where I'm part way in and I'm thinking maybe I should film this. Just start it with the switch on this lamp breaking. It uh, just doesn't switch anymore. But Rachel doesn't really like that lamp so much anymore. So I thought uh, maybe I'll make uh, this lamp work with a nightstand. I'm going to put this on the nightstand but uh, this is a bit too low. So this is going to be a pedestal that uh, this lamp is going to mount on. And I cut that octagonal just by uh, cutting the corners off on the table saw like this and then uh, cutting out that little corner here with the bandsaw. But uh, this just looks a little bit too clunky so I thought maybe I'll put it on the lathe. These two little holes match the points on here because the middle hole here is actually too large for the points on the lathe. So I'll just hold it in place with those two. And with wooden bearings on my lathe, I have to make sure they're oiled before I get started. Now I'm just going to add the motor. My lathe doesn't have the mass of a proper lathe, so I always have to clamp it down on the workbench for extra mass. just rubbing on a bit of salad bowl finish because it's not worth getting all the varnish out for such a small project. I would have preferred to clamp this rather than screw it from the bottom. But on this side, there isn't really any sort of ledge to clamp it from, and if I came from the back, whatever's here is going to hit the wall, so just a small hole through the top, I think, is the best solution. So Rachel thinks it looks kind of weird, and it does too, but that's okay. It serves a purpose, and it was a fun chance to use a lathe again, because it's been almost three years since I used it last. And it's now a few days later, just editing the video, and Rachel is pretty happy with this lamp by her bed now, even though it looks kind of weird. And I like this sort of swing arm architect lamp quite a lot. I have a lot of them in use, but uh, not one of them is on the original flimsy base that it comes with. Uh, these things are just crap. Um, this, for instance, is a base that I made back around 1991. A block of wood, hole in it, a wooden screw to hold it in place. Uh, most of my swing arm lamps are actually just in a block of wood with a hole in it that's screwed to something. Uh, they're great lamps, just crappy bases.